Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to control the brake pedal. This will be a very simple driving lesson, so let's get right into it. The first thing is to ease into it. Now here's the thing, if you go and you just hammer the brake pedal like that, well guess what, that's going to cause a very aggressive braking pattern, which is not good. And that's not great with regards to brake pedal control. In fact, it might even cause you to, to immediately fail the driving test because the driving test examiner will be thrown around, right? So you want to ease into it. You see the brake pedal right here? You want to basically get a consistent amount of force and ease into it, just like that. Ease into it. You want to be gentle with the brake pedal, okay? Just like that. Be gentle with the brake pedal. Now the second thing with regards to controlling the brake pedal is that you want to have consistent force. If you're going like this, if you're like going hard and then easier, it's not going to create a consistent braking distance or consistent braking pattern. You got to have consistent force. You want to just consistently go from start to finish consistently. Consistent force and consistent speed. You don't want to go hard and then soft. You don't want to go soft and then hard. You don't want to do that because those uh, are not good examples of brake pedal control. You want to have consistent force and consistent speed. Okay. The third factor with regards to controlling the brake pedal is, and I'll give you a demonstration momentarily. I'll, I'll actually drive and brake momentarily. But the third um, factor is that it's all about estimating your braking distance. If you estimate your braking distance as too short of a distance, then what's going to happen is you're going to have to, you're going to press the pedal this much. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, wow, I need to press it much more. If you, uh, you know, have a too long of a distance that you've estimated, then you know what? You're, you're going to basically just not press it enough, right? I mean, and vice versa. But basically, Basically, you got to learn to estimate your braking distance. If you are not estimating your distance correctly, then, you know, it's going to be hard for you to control that brake pedal. Now, the way that you get better at estimating your braking distance is just by practicing. So go into an empty parking lot, pick a few parking lines and, you know, just, just try to brake by the time you get to that line. So if I pick this line over here, try to brake by the time that your front bumper hits that line and keep practicing until you get it perfectly right. Now, the last factor with regards to controlling the brake pedal is that you want to pivot with your heel. So a lot of people when they're learning to drive, their foot will be off of the ground, they'll press the gas pedal, then they'll press the brake pedal like that, right? And that can be very hard to control that brake pedal. It's hard. Even me, who teaches a lot of driving in tutorials and has been driving for many years, would find it difficult to brake consistently like this. Instead, what you want to do is get your heel on the ground and you want to use your heel as the pivoting point like this. So when I'm driving, I'll go like this and sometimes I'll move my heel slightly, but my heel is still the pivoting point. You're just basically going like this with your foot. It's like you're tapping your foot on that brake pedal, just like that. And that's how you brake. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down this street. Right now, there's nobody on this street. It's during odd hours, no pedestrians, no cars, no traffic. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and brake um, as I'm driving. So, uh, the car's in drive. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to move forward a bit. Let's just accelerate a little bit. And I'll show you exactly what I do to come to a nice smooth stop uh, right over here. I'm going to pull over right over here. So, as you can see, I pivoted on my heel, pressing the brake pedal consistently and... A nice smooth stop. We'll do it again. I'll move forward. I'll go a little bit slower this time. Release the gas pedal. Nice smooth stop. Now you can see another factor with regards to controlling the brake pedal is the fact that I'm not pressing the brakes hard. I'm not like going so deep. Like literally, I'm literally going like this just a bit. Now, obviously, the faster that you're going, the more that you're going to have to press the brake pedal to get the stopping power that you need. But most of the time, if, unless you're going like super fast and you have to slam on your brakes, you know, you're not going to have to push it down much, like just a little bit, just a bit. I'll give you hopefully a little bit of a side view of that. Just a little bit. Just like that. That's literally the amount that I'm pushing the brake pedal down. We'll go ahead. We'll go one more time. Let's just uh, pick up a little bit more speed. So I'm going to go a bit faster. I just have to stop at the stop sign right over here. You can see how much I'm pushing the pedal down. Let's pick up a bit more speed over here. Okay, so we're giving it a bit of gas and now pressing the brake pedal to slow down and come to a nice smooth stop. And the key factor there is that I had a lot of braking distance. So I had a lot of braking distance and that is basically what allowed me to only press the brake pedal just a bit. You want to give yourself a good amount of braking distance and estimate that distance appropriately 
to the point where all you have to do is just push down on the brake pedal that amount. And that's what I said a key factor was earlier on. I said you got to learn to estimate your braking distance effectively. And that is definitely going to be a key factor in controlling the brake pedal. And that's it. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.